Hey folks, so who here has been trading a lot of tokens on decentralized exchanges lately? Or maybe you're deep in the DeFi space doing yield farming and so forth? Well, if so, I want to share with you a DEX aggregator called Matcha today, built by 0x Labs, famous for the 0x protocol and the 0x token. And in this sponsored video, I'm going to share with you the top benefits you could get out of using Matcha and also walk you through end to end the process of connecting a wallet and using all of the very useful and unique functionalities. So if this sounds interesting to you at all, you know what to do, sit back, relax, and just keep on watching. All right, so timestamps down below for those of y'all who want to skip to a specific section. But essentially, Matcha is like the Robin Hood of DeFi. Now, I'm sure a lot of y'all have used Robin Hood before. It's a super easy and fun way to trade stocks, right? And with its gorgeous and simple interface, it really brought stock trading to the masses and made it fun. Well, Matcha is looking to do the same thing with the DeFi space with a gorgeous and really simple to use interface, trade on different DEXs, and just access the DeFi space. Now on a high level, what is Matcha, right? It's a crypto trading platform and they're like a decentralized exchange aggregator, which allows users to swap their tokens peer to peer through the Ethereum ecosystem. And before I go further into the specifics of Matcha, let me just touch real quick on decentralized exchanges, right? Or DEXs. Essentially, these are exchanges that allow crypto traders trade their tokens without giving up custody of their tokens to a third party, like depositing your coins on Binance's wallets or on Coinbase's wallets. Because when you do that, you have to trust them to manage your tokens and not get hacked, for example. Some other benefits include just being globally accessible because anyone in the world with the internet connection can pretty much use them since it's decentralized. Also has a higher degree of privacy since you don't have to register in order to use DEXs. Lower cost of trade, because compared to centralized exchanges, DEXs have lower overhead costs and thus can usually offer cheaper or sometimes even no trading fees. And then a lower risk of price or volume manipulation because everything is open. So you can take a look and there's no centralized operator that wants to get more money out of each trade, for example. And like I said, the biggest one is historically, there've been a lot of hacks recently with KuCoin's hacks, which is a big deal and makes traders and investors like us lose our hard earned coins. So with DEXs, that is not an issue and it's a big benefit for using them. So back to Matcha, right? A lot of other DEXs essentially only have a single liquidity source, but Matcha aggregates them from a whole bunch of different DEXs and liquidity sources, kind of like how different types of aggregators like Expedia or Google News or Rotten Tomatoes. Those are all different aggregators for various other items, right? And so Matcha takes data from all those different sources and uses a process called smart order routing to split your trade across the different sources to get you the absolute best price and the lowest slippage possible. And so Matcha uses the 0x API. Like I said earlier, it's built by the same team behind the 0x protocol. And there's a ton of different liquidity sources. This is pretty recent as of October 2020. You have like the 0x Mesh, the Balancer, Banker, Kyber, and a lot more, right? Here's the list of all the different liquidity sources that they access. Now, that's it for the overview. Let's take a look at the end-to-end -end process of using Matcha. All right, so here you have Matcha's homepage at matcha.xyz. You can find the best prices across exchange networks. Their featured tokens and you can explore the rest of them there. Save you time and money and you can trade directly from your own wallet. So let's do that. Let's press this connect wallet up here and then create a new wallet by Bitsky. Okay. And then I'm going to type in my email address and then a password. And then I'll set up this two factor authentication later, but you can put in your phone number. Matcha would like to access authorize. There we go. Okay. And now you can deposit to make your first trade. And let me do that right now to this address, copy my address. And then I took that address, put it into my mobile wallet and sent 0.095 ETH plus fees, of course. And now I have $32 balance in my Bitsky wallet and can start trading on Matcha, right? And it's connected. See up here, it's connected. So let's take a look around Matcha now that we've connected. 
there's a lot of different available tokens with more added constantly. Like there's Uni, there's Zero X, there's Yearn, there's Basic Attention Token, and much more. They have all the most popular ones available on here for you to trade with. But let's just take a look at an asset page for Ethereum. It has a gorgeous interface. You can make a trade right within this right hand side. Check out other components here. But let's just take a look at a specific trading pair, right? Because that's what Matcha is helping you with trading token pairs. Like, let me just type curve ETH, go to market. And you can start trading between these two pairs. But what's really cool is if you press this depth page and it shows you this x-ray chart that shows you on the ask side and the bid side what the depth is on different DEXs or liquidity sources, right? At this price in terms of ETH and CRV ratio that you can see up here, you can see that change. There are 58,000 CRVs, 40% on Uniswap, 56% on SushiSwap, and 4% on MooniSwap. And then that changes depending on where your cursor is. So this depth chart with X-ray vision is super cool. And you kind of get a sense for which different liquidity pools Matcha would attempt to tap into to get you the best price. Now, just some other cool parts is your account page. You have activity, you have your wallet's amount and your balances held in that wallet, right? And this is gonna change later as I put in some trades. What's also really cool is over here, if you click this chat thing, they have customer support pretty much which is usually lacking in terms of decentralized exchanges. Honestly, it's even lacking in terms of centralized exchanges, but it's great news that Matcha team and the Zero X Labs team is making a conscious effort to put great customer service for this DEX aggregator. And if you also want to read other details, you can go to this help center right here, and there's a ton of different pages that you can read into if you have any questions, like why did my transaction fail? Why is it taking long to process? And anything that you can imagine. All right, now last but not least, let's put in a trade. Let's see what do I want to trade for. Let's get some die just for fun. So right here, let's see, I have 0 0.095 ETH. So let me just use 0 0.07, which amounts to roughly 23 die. Review order, finalizing quote estimated fee from the Ethereum network and the amount I save compared to if I just used Uniswap. So place order and matcha.xyz would like to use your wallet. You have to kind of sign for approval to interact with these smart contracts. That's essentially how this works. Submit transaction. And then now we have to wait for this transaction on chain. Selling 0.07 ETH for 23 DAI. Transaction successful. Let's take a look at the receipt on Etherscan, here we go. This is pretty awesome. And then now, go to my account page. You can see I have F and DAI, right? And my history right here also pops up Etherscan. This is pretty cool and I do wanna note real quick that I showed you how to use the Bitsky account and they didn't really let you adjust any finer components like the gas price, the gas limits of your Ethereum transaction that you're sending to the network. But if you do connect your own wallets like MetaMask or some other ones that are supported, then you don't want to adjust the gas price or gas limit at all or else it might fail. So they handle all of that behind the scenes for you and you don't want to be touching that or else you might be wasting some money if you send gas with your whole transaction and trade fails, right? That's pretty much it. Super simple. As you can see, it's really the Robin Hood of DeFi. I just placed that in like five minutes and also sent my Ethereum to the wallet super fast. You can do the whole thing even as a newbie trader just in a really easy and smooth manner. So I definitely encourage you to go check out Matcha. That's matcha.xyz. I'll also leave the links down in the description below. Please like and subscribe in this video if you enjoyed this. Also be sure to follow along Matcha on their Twitter page. This is at matcha.xyz. And also if you have any questions or want to just join their community, join their Telegram channel. That's t.me slash matcha xyz as well, or just search that on your telegram. And let me know any questions or comments you may have as well. This is Kevin. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll catch y'all next time.